and we're back on the roof so we got no heat call uh this is the dining rooms for a restaurant that's the kitchen that one's working fine this old piece of junk it's not heating uh looks like the inducer is running but it's cold so let's see what's going on with this so here we go High flash ignition lockout fault so it failed ignition so we need to find out what's going on with this so let's go ahead and open up the burner and check her out go ahead and kill the power all right you guys know what's coming up next we're gonna go ahead and take apart this burner assembly and clean the heck out of it Ooh, it's windy today Nice and clean. Super clean. Alright, so we're cleaning the igniter. Something I just noticed right now as I was pulling those uh, wires off, they're really loose. So we're going to go ahead and tighten these by taking some needle nose pliers and squishing it just so it'll be a little bit tighter on the post. And just barely, you just barely want to do it, not too hard. Okay, and then this brown wire that we pulled off, that's actually going to ground. Um, so we want to make sure that's tight too, otherwise it's not going to spark properly. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and pinch it just a little bit, not too much, because if you overdo it, it's just not going to be able to get it back on. Okay, so the orange one is going to go into the plastic one. Oh yeah, it's much tighter already. And then that's the ground. <coughs> now, if you have one that has a metal base, it's not going to have a ground connection because it doesn't need it. Spuds are clean. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean these nasty things. So when cleaning these, it's very important, not necessarily for the top to be clean, but this right here, you see this little groove? That's a crossover tube, so the igniter will actually light the one all the way to the right on this one. Uh, and then it's gonna cross over through that tube all the way to the other burners. And that's why Flame sensor is always on the opposite side. So it's also very important that you put these back in the same order because you can see here, this only has one crossover tube on one side. So if I were to put this here, it won't cross over properly. So you gotta pay attention to that. Here's the next one. You can see this is the middle one. You can see it has crossover tubes on both sides. And you can actually see they're kind of somewhat plugged. So I'm actually gonna get a wire brush and clean that. So if the crossover tubes are plugged, the other, only one side has a burner, in this case the right side will light, uh, and then it won't reach the, uh, it won't reach the uh, flame sensor, so it'll shut off and give you a failed ignition. Yeah, you can already see that, it's a lot better. And when I take these off, I lay them down uh, in order. And you can see this crossover tube, this one's not so bad. We'll still clean it. All right, so we got this one clean. So you can see here, that side, there's no crossover with this one, so that means it goes on to the right side. So we go right to left. And then this is the center one. You can see it's got crossovers on both sides. And then this is the last one. See, it's only got crossover on this side. So it goes this way. Let's 
Go ahead and turn the power on, see if it, she lights up. So I'm going to cycle this thing on and off. I put the panel back on because it's just windy. So that's why the flame was going all crazy. It's just, it's the wind. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take off this W wire here. And I'm going to just cycle it on and off a few times just to make sure everything's good. Alright, lit up. Alright, so we've been turning it on and off a few times just to make sure. So far so good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the wire back on. We'll go ahead and close her up and call her good. But she's been turning on and off every single time without any issues. So I think we're good to go.